there's loads of seats over here. So there were, for the late comers, you know, please, please come in. You know, um, you know, yeah, it's all right. This is all being videoed. So um, you know, when the when the, when the speaker and the sponsor is late. Okay, so for those of the you, those of you that don't know me, um, my aim in life is to do as little as possible. Um, I don't believe in using ten words when one will do, and I try to. Uh, I find that recycling stuff is easier than getting new. Um, this soon has been recycled a few times. I think, it, I think it started off life as a Coca-Cola bottle. It's definitely made of plastic. Um, and my ambition in life is actually to do nothing at all. Um, I've been working hard at that for 48 years, and I'm pretty close to it now. Now, I don't know about you, but I get a lot of email. And um, I think, how many have you got in that inbox there? 17,626 in my inbox. Um, except that's not my real inbox, that's my real inbox. Nothing in my inbox. I tried to work on something called Inbox Zero. The thing about Inbox Zero is there are a few techniques you have to do to achieve that. And sorry. And one of the things I found to do that is to follow my advice about being lazy and to only use one word when ten will do is giving very short answers to people's emails. This is a fairly typical email that I might get. What does Joomla mean? So, some of you may know Joomla originally is a Swahili word. It was spelled with a U, not a double O. And it means all together. Which is kind of nice. Um, a few years ago, somebody sent me an email from Estonia. And in that email, they said, well, Joomla in Estonian actually has a different meaning. So it's not a real word, but if you say la at the end of a word, it means the place. And jum is where you drink. <laughs> so jum la is the pub. Which is a nice segue into inside your bags, there are in the folders, there, is, there are some little tokens. Each one of those tokens is worth one drink uh, tonight at the pub just down the road, so don't lose those. Yeah? That pub is obscenely expensive otherwise. Um, but uh, those are, we've got those beer as well. So back to my inbox. The other way to achieve inbox zero is to do this. This is me in the morning, answering my emails. Enjoy my nice mug of coffee. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to matter how many times you do that, they still come in. But you notice the way I was answering the emails there was just by saying yes. Just saying yes. <coughs> is a wonderful thing, because was that, those of us of a certain age will remember the Just Say No campaign. Yeah? Uh, just Say Yes is far better. So one of the questions I have to get in an email is blah, 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 blah. Are there any big brands that use Joomla, or is it just used by small websites? <laughs> well, there's lots of big brands that use Joomla. Um, I was looking for a good example of one to use. So I emailed Sebastian from Seblot. I said, Sebastian, you do big websites for people. Can you give me one that's a really good one that I can show at Jumma Day UK? He said, I've got the perfect website. It's a British website. Everyone in Britain will know it. Lipton's iced tea. I did point out that actually in England, this is not real tea. <laughs> and no one in England will actually do it. But I was able to say, yes, I do have some big branded websites. So then, another email I, I often get is, can I make a shop with Joomla? Yeah, a proper shop. And yes, you can do There's lots of ways to make, to make uh, shops with Joomla. Uh, one of them is using Hicker Shop, and we've got a session on that uh, later on. Um, and there are other extensions you can use as well to build shops. I had a quick look. Um, 
and found this one in the UK, which is quite cool. It's an electric bicycle shop uh, called Juicy, Juicy Electric. Um, it's quite nice. But yes, you can build a shop. So we've been able to see Joomla can be used for big brands and can also be used for building e-commerce sites. And then I got one of these really long ones, and I've got the next invention, it's going to rule the web. I want to build a price comparison website. Can I do that with Joomla? Well, the answer is yes. Because I have a look around, and there's this site, which for code got yeah, which for you, UK. It's a price comparison site, just as all the others that you've seen, compared to insurance, car loans, credit cards, everything, all powered with Joomla. So again, absolutely no problem to build something like that with Joomla. We've got this email from Cambridge University. We've got this data set, Brian, of the entire English grammar. It's about 4,000 records. We've had five, PhD student, five PhDs working on this for the last five years. Um, they've finished it, they've made their report um, it's in a spreadsheet. Um, we need it to be fully searchable, we want to have queries, filters, we want you to be able to customise it, to export it. Um, can you do that with Joomla? Oh, and by the way, we've got no money. <laughs> and yes, you can. And here it is now, it's called English Profile. And you can do all sorts of funky things. There are filters, there's categories, subcategories. The really clever bit is you can do all filters. So you can find stuff that's in one category or another category. Um, this has been live for about six months now.
Someone once told me that there's a secret hidden inside the logo. Does anyone know what that secret might be? Okay. So FedEx is famous for having a secret in their logo. There's an arrow between the E and the X. Amazon also has a secret in their logo because they supply goods from A to Z. Sorry, that's terrible. They supply goods from A to Z. You can, you, you can tell that I've actually been speaking about Joomla all over the world for the last 10 years, and this is only the second time I've done it in the UK. So I might have adopted some really bad habits. So where is the hidden secret inside Joomla? Well, there's a few. The first one, and apologies now for my very poor graphic skills, the logo is made up of four J's. Because when you put them together, <coughs> they make the logo. <coughs> That's the official one. That was what the designer says. Of course, we've now discovered that inside the middle of the, jum of the logo is a heart. So we all love Joomla. But ever since I saw this logo for the first time, I've thought of two other secrets. The first one is that they look like jelly babies. But that one doesn't really translate globally. You know, it's not something that other people understand. It's a very British thing, unless they happen to be Doctor Who buffs. So, I don't really tell people about Jelly Babies, but it also, to me, looks like four condoms. <laughs> so, the reason why I'm really happy to share that with you today, because now, every time you see that logo, you will not get out of your head that that looks like four condoms. So, what is Joomla? Joomla is whatever you want to make it. Depending on which sessions you're going to go to today, you're going to find out about how to build e-commerce websites with Joomla, how to build secure websites with Joomla, how to make great design, how to make sure that your users have a great user experience. Um, you should have all got in your program, uh, in your bag there was a small program, uh, because the official one hadn't arrived yet. That one? Um, but if, now that the, the big one has finally arrived, the printer's uh, delivered it, you'll see the program there in the middle. Uh, we're going to have three rooms. This room divides into two. So this side of the room is called My Joomla, and this side of the room is called Octopus. And the third room, which is called Sideground, is also number five. It's over behind us over there. So we've got the three different rooms. For the main sessions where it's all in red, it should be both rooms together like this. Um, please make sure that you're in your room, in the room on time. Um, please make sure that the speaker is able to finish on time because there are other sessions immediately afterwards. Uh, we have coffee and coffee breaks. We have a lunch break. Microsoft very kindly supplied us with coffee and lunch. Uh, we also ask that you don't bring any coffee or food into the meeting rooms. So um, when, you, when you get a coffee, don't think, when someone calls you, the sessions are about to start, go, I'll just go get a coffee, because you're not going to be able to bring it in. So we do appreciate it if you're on time for all the sessions. And the final thing I was going to say, also in your bag, there are some jumper stickers. Yeah? <coughs> Take them home and use them with pleasure. Please don't stick them on every chair in the building. <laughs> okay, graffiti marketing here won't be appreciated. Um, but also, it's not going to have any effect either because Microsoft are moving out of here on Monday. Uh, so this is the last event that is going to take place in this building. Uh, so it's great that we're actually finishing off with a completely full house uh, with no spare seats. And at that, po that point, I'm going to stop and shut up. I hope everybody has a great Joomla day. If there are, anybody has any problems or issues during the day, um, either if it's a, uh, see the people on the reception, or look for myself, or look for Rowan, and we'll do what we can to help you out. Um, otherwise, thank you very much. So we've got.